This is KARK 4 Today. This coming Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs and San Francisco 49ers will be playing in the biggest football game of the year. Thousands are getting ready to head down to Florida for the Super Bowl. The Miami International Airport has a special team waiting to welcome football fans. Blair Lede joins us live with a behind the scenes look before the crowds flood the airports. Blair, good morning to you. That stadium behind you looks like it's ready to rock. Good, probably one of the most beautiful stadiums I have seen. Before. That is right. Good morning to you, Aaron and Suzanne. It is so beautiful there. Oh my gosh, the palm trees out here, it feels great. And of course, you can expect those airports to just be so busy this entire week. But as soon as I landed, we saw some volunteers out there who were smiling and dancing and ready to give people that warm Miami welcome. Greeting, guiding, snapping pictures, or directing fans through baggage claim. This is to show the warm ship that Miami has to the world. A team of 10,000 volunteers on the Super Bowl host committee began to trickle in to Miami International Airport. This is the first thing you'll see when you touch down in Magic City. I mean, this week is the start of the game week. It's all about multiculture. Everything is, is cool about Miami. This is it. And Amarato, who is also the president of the Honduran American Chamber of Commerce, says for him, it's a big deal to welcome fans to Miami's vibes, culture, and many reconstructed buildings. Humongous. It was about time again. Though the Super Bowl hustle and bustle hasn't yet started. I think it's going to be even worse than Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> there will be swag, signs, and warm smiles waiting to give Super Bowl 54 fans a warm Miami welcome. welcome. Super Bowl next Sunday. Now you can see that the airport wasn't busy quite yet, but they're expecting the first three days or the three days leading up to the big game and the day after to be the most busy. They have 90,000 people expected to be leaving that day. So of course, very busy. But like you saw there, you can expect some really nice people to greet you when you do come here if you're headed down to Miami for the big game. Reporting live from Miami, I'm Blair Lede. Blair, before you go, which team are you seeing more of in Miami, Chiefs or Niners? Well, uh, we were looking for some fans while we were in the airport. We didn't see a lot of them just yet. We saw a couple of people with uh, some Chiefs, you know, Chiefs jerseys on, but they said they weren't here for the Super Bowl. We were looking for those fans, though, but they'll probably be trickling in a little bit later, and uh, they'll be experiencing all of that uh, traffic in the airport. But like you saw, all of those smiles and very nice people in there, but no fans just yet. All right, Blair, thanks so much. Man, that stadium looks amazing really out there. The big game is our big question of the day. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Who do you think, who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Who do you Bowl? think and who do you want? Could that's, be different. That's it true. could be different. That's yeah. true. So that's going to yeah. be our uh, question of the day. Here are some results you can see right now. It is still 70% to 20 per 30% just about uh, Chiefs fans. So uh, here's what some of our viewers had to say this morning about their thoughts. Uh, Paula says she's going with the 49ers by a touchdown or field goal. She thinks you have to pick. You have to pick now. All right, you can't have both, but she thinks it's going to be a close game. Uh, yeah, Robert says uh, he's not a fan of either team, but he's going with the Chiefs. Okay, then you have Randy says uh, he's been a Chiefs fan his whole life, but the Niners are too good. Oh, that's mm. tough. That's some, hey, I, I, I respect that though, you know? I mean, he just calls it how he sees it, even though he is a Chiefs fan yeah. picking his team to lose. 50 year drought in the Super Bowl, and you don't think they're going to come with it? Woo! Hey. Well, he did. At least he also had the, uh, the over there. He, he did. 35 and 21. Yeah, he what? did. Yep. 56. Mm. They covered it. Oh, he right? Is good. that right? Yeah. What's the over under? 54? 54 and a half, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he got it. Good.